Hey guys, this will be a video on how to collect Vortex, so if you'd like to see how to do that, then please keep on watching. Hello my fellow pet battlers, it turns out today's battle went a little longer than expected because in the span of about 10-15 minutes, the boss went from legendary to epic back to legendary and then a little bit later it went back to rare and then back to legendary so yeah that was kind of annoying when i defeated like my probably my fourth or fifth frog i went to check on the quality of the boss and realized he was rare so then i exited the battle switched to my regular team to defeat the boss and then engaged him again but when i did that he was actually back to legendary so that was definitely within as far as i knew he was supposed to stay at that level for around 10 minutes but literally that was like a few seconds so i'm not sure whether that's just a bug or what but just keep that in mind i would uh definitely switch back to your proper team each time you want to check on his legendary status but other than that See how you go, and best of luck. Hey guys, today's battle will be for Vortex. At the moment he is a legendary, so I'm going to battle some of these other smaller pets to reduce his difficulty. I'm going to start with a level 1 team. I just happen to have three that I recently collected yesterday. Which, as you can see, reduces his level down to my highest level on the team, which just happens to be level 1. Always nice having a pet that's faster, gives you a little bit of an advantage. Especially when you're able to interrupt the opponent. One more should do it. Okay, that's one down. Okay. So since one of my pets leveled, you can see now the Swoglet is level 2 because that's the highest level that I have now. So it looks like there's still three left. Check this again. Okay, so this is an aquatic team that I sometimes use. I haven't actually used it for a long time. But I just want to make these kills a little bit quicker. Okay, so if you want to defeat these Swoglets, I'll be using the Dread Hatchling with Peck, Call Darkness, Nocturnal Strike, and the Paradax Hatchling with Slicing Wind, Ancient Blessing, and Liftoff. Don't really need the plushie. I don't remember what I was using this for originally.
So once you use Call Darkness, I'm just going to use Nocturnal Strike and then Peck. She looks like my plushie has stripes or something. Let's try Nocturnal Strike again. And Core Darkness. Heck. Heck. Oh nice, didn't even need the second pet. Okay, finally. Alright. So once again I'll be using the same team that I used for one of the other legendary bosses, which is Eula, Bloodstone Tunneler, and the Violet Abyssal Eel. See how I go. So, breath. Cold winds, toxic smoke, thunderbolt. One more breath here. I'll use life exchange. I'm getting a pretty low now. And celestial blessing. Breath. Bring in my tunnel up. Glowing Toxin. Paralyzing Venom. City Goo. One more lot of goo should do it. Very nice. There we go with the essence. Okay, well that took a little longer than expected, but hope that helped. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video. Uh, the only other thing that I have to say is that when he, I realize, uh, 